Hello, everyone. My name is Mike Kowalski. Uh, we, we've had some technical uh, difficulties here. We're just getting them uh, fixed. Appreciate your patience. Um, welcome to the Grade A lead uh, webinar. Uh, we're just, uh, we'll start in a few minutes. If anyone on this call um, can just click, sorry, just type in in the chat box and write that you can hear me okay and that you can see the screen. Uh, we'll start in a few minutes. Hello, Rick, are you on the line? I am, Mike. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Yeah, we've just, we just got a few technical difficulties, and I think we've cleared them up, and we're just uh, waiting for people to, to come onto the call. I guess while we're doing that, why don't we talk about uh, our uh, great uh, super conference we had in Toronto a few weeks ago. It was uh, went very, very well. Met a lot of uh, new people and uh, a lot of excitement and a lot of great questions. Yeah, you know, we... Um we had a good time in Toronto. That was one of the most energetic events I've been to in a while. I, it's so exciting to actually do a super conference in Canada. We do the vast majority of our events in the U.S. now, despite the fact we're a Canadian-based company. So when we get to come to Toronto and work with our Canadian friends and Canadian members, that's a real treat for me. So I had a good time in, uh, in Toronto. And like you say, it's good to meet new people. It's great to hear uh, success stories. It's great to work with our new coaching members. And I'm uh, fully engaged in that right now. So, yeah, overall, Mike, I'd say that uh, Toronto was a real great success. I've had numerous conversations with Craig since Toronto, and he was really happy with, with the, the turnout and the attitude and the energy and, and just the whole general grok on the event. So, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. It was a great event, super to be there and great to be involved. Well, I can see by the by the attendees that we've got oh we've got a well over 150 people on the call so that's that's encouraging and um, while we uh, wait for a few more people to to come on um, so we did uh, we did a presentation day three uh, on on hotlines and prior to that Craig came came onto the um, up on the on the uh, stage and talked a lot about you know the different type of hotlines we got uh, the marketing libraries all the scripts today we're not going to talk about that we we did promise you in our presentation uh, that we were going to have a special uh, webinar which we're conducting today on the grade A lead what the grade A lead is okay yeah. so go ahead well, I think I think it's important that we that we do this you know it's it's true Mike that you you do have a technology component to your service. But what's more important is we focus on the quality of the lead that all of us should be working towards generating. And that's what we're all about today is, is getting the best, most qualified prospect to reach out and simply agree that what we're offering is important for their project moving forward. So we want to talk about that today and, and just give you guys some, some things to work with, some implementation ideas and tips and techniques so that we can get as many leads coming in as, as quickly as, as possible. And feel free, guys, any, any questions you have along the way, just um, type them into the chat box on, on your right-hand side. And we have set uh, some time at the end of the uh, webinar to, to answer your, your, your questions live with Rick and I. Um, also, we're going to be drawing, uh, we have a, a special draw uh, for all the business cards that were placed at our booth. Uh, we're going to draw for the iPad Mini. And actually, um, draw for that for that iPad uh, Mini. All right. So on today's call, we're going to talk about the Grade A lead. What they what they really are. Prospect that's thinking of buying and selling right now, and we're really going to spend a few minutes on that and, and go over what that is. We're going to we're going to teach you how to find them in your business. Okay, so we're going to show you some samples of, of ads that we use for both on and offline. Rick is going to go through these ads and, and how he um, how he uh, generated a lot of money um, in driving uh, traffic to his uh, hotlines. We're going to talk about how to attract and capture them. So all the, all the tools that we use, the recorded message hotline and the mobile tools, that we're going to share today. We're actually going to 
uh, uh, do a live and interactive demo to really show you how to use the tool and how to generate that quality grade eight lead as well. We're talking about why conversations are the biggest key to your closings um, and, and how to use a universal callback script to really get that uh, lead uh, to an appointment. And that's really the, the, the main reason why we're here today. And again, we're going to go through the demo. Uh, I, I believe we're going to actually call into our demo line, and you're going to be able to hear what the intro message is going to be and what the property script will sound like. Uh, along, uh, if you had your, if you have your iPhone out or your smartphone, um, you can participate in our um, really experience the. Um, uh, the whole call flow of, of the prospect calling into your to your hotline, and, and the thought process all behind it, and you're, you're, you're going to see the, the type of information that we're delivering not only to you, the agent, the owner of the line, but the prospect as well. Okay, and then we talked about earlier we're going to draw for the iPad Mini and and do a live Q and A. So Rick, let's get started. Let's talk about who is the Grade A lead, and let's spend a few minutes just what that is. Well, the first thing that I like to talk about here, Mike, is that is that terminology. So, why do we use that verbiage grade A? Well, you know, over the years we've we've talked a lot, Mike, you and I, about the quality of leads that we can generate, and and for years Craig taught me to to grade my leads A, B, and C. Some people do them A, B, C, and D. But the best quality lead, the best now lead the lead that gives us the information we need to move forward. We've always referred to that as our, our most qualified lead. So for our discussion today, we call that an A-type lead. That's the best lead. Now, I, for years, have said that, you know, it's not that difficult to generate Internet leads. It's, it's pretty easy. It's not that difficult to generate sign call leads because, let's face it, Sunday afternoon, prospects are out crawling around neighborhoods. They see a for sale sign. And they call, and they simply want to know the price and when can they get in. So that type of lead generation, you know, when you follow our model, isn't isn't that difficult. But really, what we want to do is put marketing out there that draws in the very best prospect. And the, the best prospect is that person who is who's predisposed to buying or selling in the next you know 90 or 120 days. It's the prospect that calls in that listens to our initial script, that actually kicks in the four-digit code and listens to the property description or, or or kicks in the script and listens to the script from the editorial ads and reacts based on what they hear. They order the feature sheet on the property. They order a list of homes for sale in that neighborhood or subdivision. They order the report that they were offered for calling our editorial ad or they offer, they order something else. And the reason is, our script was compelling, the use of the technology was easy and non-threatening, and the solution that we've offered, Mike, is the natural solution to their query about buying or selling. And that person often leaves a really nice little message behind when they call our pre-recorded system and request what it is they want. And I'm often, I, I often refer to the very first script, the very first part of the message that I got from the very first lead I created on Craig's system. And I often tell this story at the super conference, but it was I, I got a call way back in, I don't know, maybe it was maybe it was two thousand and one. The very first ad that I finally got right and put in the paper, two sisters were a sister representing two of them called my my uh, my ad, called my hotline, and had indicated that they had inherited a house from their parents who had both been killed in just a horrific car accident. And the message basically said, if you're a realtor, could you please tell us how much our home is worth, and if possible, help us get the thing sold. And it's ironic, because 30 days after I ran that ad, I, I created a closing from that script. And that was always like a great example of a grade A lead. I gave them a solution. I told them how to get it. I made it simple and easy and non-threatening, and they simply took advantage, and we got the home sold. And over the years, Mike, I, 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 it's, it's countless how many times, you know, I've been able to do that using your technology and this training that 
that you and Craig have always given me. And it's not rocket science. We bring a compelling element to what it is we're doing. We make it non-threatening. We take away this idea that the agent is simply the gatekeeper for all of this information. And over and over again, rinse and repeat, we generate leads. And I would suggest, Mike, far and above, my best quality leads have always been attached to a call into my hotline. So the great A lead is that person who's predisposed to doing something now, calls, leaves a script, leaves us a phone number, oftentimes leaves us a great message. We move forward, we create that appointment, we forge the relationship, we get them sold as quickly as possible. So to me, that's always who the great A lead is. For, 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 for today's prospect, Rick, and it, well, that'd be a buyer or seller in our case, um, there, there, it's very, very important to have a systemized way to, to, to generate leads and, and to follow up. Um, there's that sure. fear of being sold, the fear of having to deal with a salesperson or an agent, oh, for sure. and, and that fear of being pressured as well. Well, look, no, nobody wants to be, to be oversold. Nobody likes the idea of the hard-closing salesperson who's browbeating you into signing on the dotted line. That doesn't fly in 2014. It's a new era. You know, people today, like, like us, Mike, we, we do our very best to prospects to simply offer a solution and make, a, excuse me, obtaining that solution as, as stress-free and as risk-free as, as possible. And knowing that, the idea of simply calling and listening to a recorded a recorded message, or as we call it, a recorded script, simply fits in with today's mentality. They don't want to talk to me. Look, at the end of the day, the real estate agent, quote unquote, is not the most popular guy in the community. Unfortunately, that's just the reality of where we've ended up in 2014. So I know that, and I don't fight it. I don't argue with people. Look, I'm proud to be a realtor. I'm proud to have a real estate license. But I recognize that, that if I set myself up as the gatekeeper for everything a prospect needs or wants in their project of buying or selling, that I'm going to diminish my results. So along the lines of this less branded, less threatening marketing method, we generate three to five times more leads when we get out of the way. So that's where our our less branded website and our less branded hotline really fit into the whole formula. And when the prospect calls and doesn't have to talk to me and doesn't have to hear a sales pitch, they're more apt to leave their request for what it is they want that we've been offering. And it works over and over and over again. And if you put your hotline in a number of different places, including on your sales sign, you'll find that you generate lots and lots of leads consistently, predictably, over and over again. And with your hotline, the quality of that lead will be much better, much better than average. Certainly way better than a typical internet lead. Perfect. All right, let's get into the blueprint, uh, Rick. Yeah, so here's a typical grade A lead blueprint that we, we use um, and demonstrate not only for the the real estate market, but um, for a bunch of industries that we're in. And today we're just going to focus on the first two stages, and that is attracting the traffic for the grade A lead and and capturing uh, these leads to, to a hotline and through our mobile, uh, mobile uh, services. So uh, let's get into the attract. Well, let's, the, uh, the traffic, yeah. well let, let's, let's quickly determine how this fits in with the quantum leap system. So the, the quantum leap system, as we all know, is based on six major ingredients. The first ingredient, the first box in the system that we always dive into is lead generation. How many of you now are on the road to becoming better marketers, better lead generators? That's really what we help people do now over the next little while as we get you ingratiated in the coaching program. And what works hand in hand with your lead generation is your technology, which has been designed to sift and sort through those leads that we, that we generate. Well, today's call is about using the hotline technology to sift and sort through the leads. 
How many of you are really using the technology correctly? How many of you are still driving traffic to your cell phone or to your direct line in the office or to the office number that's answered by an operator? You see, that's not the best way to make the lead generation system work. If we can take that traffic and drive it to something that would simply replicate what it is we would say or do, we have a much higher chance of generating a lead than we do if we take the call ourselves. And, and by the way, I'm not opposed to taking a call. If somebody is sitting outside of my listing on a Sunday afternoon or a Saturday afternoon and they choose to call my direct number, which is forwarded right to me. I have no problem taking taking that call. Right at that point in their project, Mike, I want to do everything I can to drive them to my technology because my hotline script and messaging service pretty much does the same thing that I would do. And the end result, about 30% of the time, is I have a message waiting for me when I check my hotline message box later. And that's really important. Those are two really important key steps in the quantum leap system that everybody needs to get and work on run the lead, part of me, run the ad, and the ad, by the way, needs to, to be relevant. If your ad isn't relevant to what's going on in the market, it's going to be hard to create a lead. So once the ad is correct, we drive the traffic to a hotline, and the script on the hotline matches up nicely, properly, correctly, with the ad that they saw and were attracted to. They hear a script, and we simply tell you, and we want to have that running in our business on four or five different mediums all throughout the marketplace, so we are slightly overrun with leads. That's the point we want to get you to, having slightly more leads than you can handle uh, over the course of days. That's that's the correct way to marry these two things up together. Now, if I could just add, Rick, um, as you know, uh, Rick, uh, Craig provides all the all these ads for you in, in marketing libraries. So you just got to choose what, what marketing campaign you want to target, whether it's an editorial style or you want to go with the USPs and property tree branded or less branded we talked and all the scripts in the hotline are preloaded for you they're all they're all preloaded uh, and set for you so all as Rick mentioned all you need to do is is run the ad and make it relevant to the campaign that you're uh, that, you, that you choose right that's correct the only the only script really that you need to think about writing and subsequently recording is when you take a listing now, in your manual that we gave you at the Super Conference, we gave you some guidance and some formats to work with for a listing script. But at the end of that little brief caption where you talk about your property, we've given you a very distinct call to action method on how to generate a lead when a prospect calls on, on one of your listings. So, yeah, even though you do have to create something for your listings, we've still given you a off, as you can see in some of the examples below on the screen. Um, we, we recommend that you do both. You, do, you, you, you place your, your 800 hotline in side into the ad. And as you can see on the screen, these are all the different medias, the mediums that, uh, that we use and that Craig teaches to you to, uh, to deliver your marketing message to. Yeah, for sure. But you don't need all of these. Some of you might be sitting there thinking, well, holy mackerel, there's, there's a dozen different mediums that, that Rick and, and uh, Mike think I should have my ads. And no, we're not saying that. What we're saying is, here's the common ones. And if I had my way, I'd get you running three to five campaigns on three of these mediums locally. That's what I would, I would do. So that would generate enough leads to keep you busy for a long time. If you had 15 ads running every single day, three across or five, your statistical study of your MLS, so you know what's going on, when we have those ads running that match up with market trends, the byproduct of that is a lead. The byproduct is a call into the hotline. It's a message left simply asking for what it is we're offering. We've got, we got a phone ring on the background there. Uh, why don't we just spend a minute, Rick, and why don't you just go through, and we did, we did discuss this um, in our presentation um, in Toronto, but let's talk about the two different types of hotlines. Okay, so let's, let's have a look here. So here's, here's a couple of examples of marketing you should be running to generate leads every single day. So the one on the left is a postcard. It's, it's Craig's area sales report postcard that he ran uh, every other week for the better part of 20 years. And Craig will tell you that one of the reasons this campaign worked as well as it did was his consistency. Okay, He put out about 20,000 of these every other week for years and years and years. And every time he put the cards out, he, he knew clearly 
how many calls he would generate into his number. Right there, 800-326-5582, and the code, the ID code that the prospect would kick in is 8065. Now, Craig continued to do this. I continued to do this. I did this for years and years and generated countless leads into our hotline. And again, if you look at the ad, it's not about Craig. It's not about how great he was or his movie star picture or that kind of stuff. It's simply an information type offer that gives somebody who's thinking of selling the heads up on sales in the neighborhood, which really, when you think about it, is a great starting point for anybody beginning the process of selling. And it's relevant. It makes sense. If you're thinking of selling your home, wouldn't you like to know what other homes in the neighborhood are, are selling for? Well, of course you would. And you'd, you'd call that number. You wouldn't hear a message about Craig Proctor or Remax or the fact that he's number one in the world. No, you'd hear a very plain, very basic introduction which simply says, Hi, thank you for calling the Real Estate Information Hotline. Please enter the four-digit code in the ad you saw now. Boom. That's all they hear. They kick in 8065, and they hear a script that's been pre-written to work in conjunction with this campaign, the Area Sales Report. And you get to use the same script that I used, that Craig used, that our top members have used for years and years, because you get access to that library. On the right, there's another couple of examples of, of property lists that we can make available. The Distress Sale Campaign, which I hope everybody now is running, Free list with pictures of, of bank foreclosures and power of sale properties. Now that would be a true Ontario ad. Many of you on the call today are calling from Ontario because in Ontario, that's the terminology they use for foreclosures, power of sale. We offer a URL, drive them to a landing page, and notice below that, same thing. We offer a script on a pre-recorded hotline. And there's the number, different ID code for both ads, and we continue to drive traffic in this less branded vein to people who want these things. There's our offer. The offer here is for a list of recent sales and current listings, another offer for a list of properties in that distressed property category, and another offer for a list of upscale luxury homes between 500 and, and 2 million. So it's pretty straightforward. Powerful direct response marketing, easy and non-threatening manner to get the information that you want, all you have to do is make the call and simply leave your message when you hear the script. So that's done using our information, or I shouldn't say our, your information line mic. This is the less branded version of, of the hotline. And again, it's not about Craig or me or the agent that has it out there. Now, the second hotline that you would work with is the one where if you're carrying an inventory of listings, you want to present your listings correctly from a branded perspective. Now, here's an example of an ad that I of a, an ad format that I had for years. So this was a center spread of our local Homes and Lands magazine, and I had that center spread for I think seven years. So I often get a question: Well, Rick, why did you choose the center of the magazine? And the reason simple is it was a staple publication. So when you put it down, it naturally fell open to the middle where the staples were. And I paid a little bit extra for that, but I had that for years. And this was my format. A nice big gaggle of listings, and below every listing, as you can see, I made reference to my hotline available so that the people who were interested in my hotline simply just had to call the number at the bottom and order that feature sheet that we made available. So here's Here's an example of the format that I use for all my listings. The price, uh, an emotionally driven caption, and then I simply drove people to that number, my 1-800 number, kick in ID 2348. When they called in, they would get a little bit more information about the house, just enough to whet their appetite for more, and then we'd, we'd let people know that if they wanted a full color, fully loaded feature sheet on this property, along with a list of all the homes for sale in the area, simply leave us your mailing address, your name, and your phone number, and we'll get that out to you right away. And then I would use the old two-step method. If you're thinking of moving in the next three months, please ask for list number one. If moving is something you're going to be doing in longer than three months, please ask for house list number two. 
Same list, it just let me sort out the prospects so I knew who to call first. So there's two formats, Mike, that you and Craig developed. A less branded hotline that's information-based and then a branded hotline which not only highlights my properties when people kick in the four-digit ID code, but also lets them hear a brief USP-based commercial when they call in on the branded hotline. So if somebody called mine, they would, they would hear my voice. I thank them for calling in. And then if you're looking for information on my guaranteed sale program, where I promise to have your home sold in 88 days or I'll buy it myself, press 1. If you're looking for information on my unprecedented two-year buyback promise for any home purchased, please press number two. Now, if you're looking for information on my listing, please press the four-digit code that goes with the home you're interested in. And that was the, uh, the way our introduction worked. So two, two formats, two distinctly different methods for generating leads, one from a branded perspective and one from a less branded perspective. And when you do it right, the leads come in on a real, on a real plentiful basis. And so here's another example. This was a, a page that I ran in our, in our Calgary real estate newspaper. Again, listings based. Um, a few mistakes in this ad, as Craig's pointed out to me over the years. But nonetheless, when you did it the right way, when you did it just the way Craig taught us to do, and we drove all the inquiries on our listings to our hotline, we generated leads because people would rather listen to a pre-recorded message and ask for the feature sheet than talk to an agent at this process, at this um, at this stage in the process. So if we can get you guys to replicate using your hotline this way, um, we're relatively confident that we can have you working with lots of good quality leads very quickly and getting you on the road to getting closings as, as soon as possible. But that's how we want you to use the hotline. Now, Rick, we talked at the beginning about uh, generating the grade A lead, and we're going to, uh, before we get into the actual demo, and hopefully everyone got their smartphones ready, um, why don't you set them, once you set them up with the, uh, visualize the, the following scenario with okay. a, go ahead. Okay, so just as I mentioned earlier, let's, let's imagine the prospect is out looking at houses, or he's out driving around a neighborhood that he wants to live in, and, and boom, there's your for sale sign out on the, on the front lawn of the house. Now, you know, the typical prospect at this stage in the game is probably not that interested in speaking with an agent yet because he's in the fact-finding phase. Are you with me? That's probably where the typical prospect is. He, he maybe hasn't sold yet. He maybe hasn't even listed yet, but he's beginning the project of getting some information that he can process mentally and make some decisions about moving forward. So he's driving around the neighborhood, and nine out of ten properties he drives by require the agent to take a call and answer the questions. He pulls up to my sign, and my sign says, for free recorded information on this home, simply call 1-800, there's my number, kick in ID, uh, ID number 1234, and listen to a pre-recorded message about this property. So he calls, and he listens to the message, and the script that we've created is relatively compelling, and guess what happens? He leaves a message and says, yes, I'd like more information on this property, over here on Westgate Boulevard. Can you please send me the fully loaded, full color feature sheet that you've offered in the message? Now, I, I got that message, Mike, from people 10,000 times, if not 100,000 times. Because, as I already know, the prospect doesn't want to talk to me. Not yet. There's a right time and a wrong time for all of this to take place. Let him identify himself. Let him raise his hand and let him begin the process through a very well thought out direct response format that's attached to your for sale sign. Maybe it's not even a for sale sign, maybe you, like me, use what's called a just listed sign. So as soon as I list a house, this big, ugly, 
butt ugly yellow sign comes out of the trunk of my car or out of the back of my truck and this gets left behind on the lawn of the house that I just listed. And this goes up before the signs go up. So this house is not on the MLS. Nobody knows about it except me and maybe the people that I work with. And yet we generate calls from people driving by and our message simply says this home isn't listed yet. But if you'd like to have a quick look at it before it goes on the MLS, simply leave a message here. We'll set up your appointment and we'll get you in as quickly as possible. So that's a pretty interesting scenario. It's a pretty interesting format of technology that you can work with that lets the buyer jump through all of these hoops before the typical thing takes place. And what is the typical thing? A realtor talking to a prospect and probably blowing it nine times out of ten. Nope. We've created um, a wanting in the prospect. He's listened to a compelling script. He has a feel for the property. He's very interested because I've, I've used an emotionally driven script and he leaves information behind which simply says send me over the feature sheet. Send me over the list of properties over in that Westgate area. Or if I'm really good at this, part of my script says, if you'd like the most recent price on this property, press zero to be connected to my office immediately. Now he presses zero from his smartphone, which rings right through to me, and guess what? I'm on with the prospect, and I didn't chase him, I didn't beg him, I didn't knock on his door, I didn't cold call him, nope. He simply was attracted to talk to me based on the direct response method that we've created. And for those of you that are not doing this, I'm telling you today, you are missing out on a whole gaggle of leads that you could be working with after this weekend. All you need to do is get this technology working for you, both in print, online, and through your for sale signs. And you'll begin the process of capturing leads immediately as soon as people see your your 1-800 number out there. Rick, so if you could flip to the next screen, it'll it'll show the, the people on the call today that have their computer on. That just what you just it just summarizes your uh, scenario. Um, right. But it really kind of summarizes all that uh, as well. So that's so, the scenario I just described is the one where the prospect sees my hotline number attached to my for sale sign. But in essence, it works the same if they're if they're thumbing through the real estate magazine, and every single house in there is accompanied by the call to action, call Joe the realtor for more information. Well, somebody needs to tell Joe that most people don't want to talk to him. Some will, for sure, a few will, but you know what I'm talking about. For those of you that, that run ads on a regular succession with your listings, you know that you only get the odd call. But when you bring this this hotline pre-recorded message format to your advertising and you make a whole bunch of information available without having to talk to the real estate agent, guess what happens? People don't feel threatened and they make the call. And I'll tell you, this was an absolute secret weapon for us in our lead generation strategy. It was just employing this technology in the um, format that Craig and Mike created for us and I became really prolific at generating leads both from my for sale signs and from the print ads that I ran on a regular basis. So if you're not doing this, I'm, I'm telling you, you're missing out on lots of opportunity. Look around your marketplace right now and see how many people actually use this technology in their business. Well, Mike has customers all over North America, but it certainly isn't landslide amounts of people in every market who do this. It's 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 a few people that Craig has trained. So everybody who's not doing this needs to get on the bandwagon and needs to get people calling their hotline and creating the lead from that, that call. It's really important. So just to recap, I know we've got these, these ads that, that Craig has provided that have been proven over the years to, to, um, to advertise, to, to drive these prospects to an 800 number or on a sign writer, a 1-800 number with a four-digit ID. And again, we didn't mention that we have a whole purported tracking system behind the scenes that you can go right. in and really see how well your advertising is 
doing, you know, how long they're on the message, if they left the message, all that, which we talked about in Toronto. Right. Um, and, yeah, that's and important. That's that's important. Sorry, to very, 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 very important. Everything's trackable. Yeah. Everything's measurable. Everything you spend is trackable and measurable. Very and important. and more importantly, what Rick just said is that now you have the opportunity for the prospect um, to dial zero at any point during your scripting, and it could be just a price change. And there's other scripts that we we've, we've proven to to be good language where we get them to to dial zero and to connect directly to to the you the real estate agent. So there's that live, you know, you know, meaningful conversation where you can now uh, use the universal callback script, which we, right. we don't have time today to talk about, to get them to an appointment. Now, Rick, we did, we talked about also added another huge component, which yeah. we uh, we developed over a year ago. That you know we've had a, a, a you know a small core test it and prove it, including yourself. Why yeah. don't you just quickly talk about this mobile okay. hand feature into the hotline, which has sure. uh, been introduced at the event, and how you leverage it, how you use that component as another channel to get that live conversation. Okay, so let's go back to our scenario of that prospect who's cruising the neighborhood on on Sunday afternoon. I, I use this one, Mike, because it's, it's probably the easiest one to see in your mind. He's yeah. driving around. He does, in fact, see your sign and your reference to the hotline on your sign. He makes the call, but he determines from the script or he hears something in the script that he's He's not pleased with, and he simply hangs up. Now, from the car, of course, the um, the prospect has made the call from his smartphone or his 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 uh, his cell phone. The majority of cell phones are smartphones. You know that little screen that people carry around, like an iPhone or a, or a Samsung phone. So when he hangs up, the new thing now that Mike has developed that we've tested and proven is the minute the call hangs up. A text message is sent right to that person's phone. Hey, Rick, just to interrupt, is that, I mean, it also works with their, while they're on the listening to the message as well. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't realize that. I it was as soon as they dial the four-digit ID of the property and they're listening to the script, hmm. this instantly happens. Go ahead. Right. So now, a text message is sent is sent back to the phone, which gives you a second chance to get this prospect to turn himself into a lead. And what happens is, let me just show you a picture of it. Here's the picture of the message that gets sent to the prospect. And in this case, the example on the screen today says, get priority access to all the new listings that match your home buying criteria by simply clicking that link that is in the message. And that link takes it to a, a fully optimized landing page that's been designed with direct response in mind, just like we teach you in the quantum leap system. So now we've got the prospect who didn't leave a message on a landing page that simply gives you a second chance to create the lead from this person that initially hung up because he didn't like what he saw in the property or he didn't like the landscaping or whatever or he didn't like the price. But now we've got them back. They're on the landing page. And we have a fairly good chance of creating the lead by simply getting the prospect to tell us kind of what it is he's actually looking for. And this is all automatic. This isn't something you have to send or wait for. It's all done automatically for you. They end up on the landing page, and the lead gets created. And really, what do we want from the lead? We want to know what generated it, what they were interested in, we like the big five, I call it the big five, name, address, two phone numbers, and an email, all those things we ask for, and boom, the lead is created, and we can now call them back and use the universal callback script. Now, is it is it our best quality lead? Maybe not. It's the second shot at this person who didn't take the initial bait, but at least we got the lead, and this is a lot better than what other systems would have you do. And I love this, Mike. I love it. I'm using this all the time. And I and think that's more great sorry. add on to what we know works all already. It's fantastic. Now, after we showed this at the super conference, this was the number one thing that after our session on Sunday, people corralled me and asked about was getting that text message thing back to the prospect. How does that work, Rick? How do I turn it on? How do I 
get that on my hotline. Well, this is this is how you do it. You talk with the guys at AMS. If you're still interested in, in getting this working for you, just have to call Mike or the team back at AMS, and they will turn this on for you. It's really, it's really, really simple. And look, here's what you get. Here's the information that you get every time somebody leaves a message or the message is created. And all you have to do is listen to the message from either the landing page or in the box and simply call them back with the universal callback script. So I hope everybody's doing this. Everybody needs to use the technology correctly, and this is the correct methodology for generating leads over and over and over again with a high level of, of predictability. I think, and it's more importantly too, Greg, it's pretty exciting that we now we can generate a lead offline and now have the option to move it back online. I know that's more important with the, the right. Craigslist uh, changes that are made in their ads. Sure. Where now you can only put the, the, the phone number um, in there. And then this is another way, another strategy we can get the, the, yeah. the highly qualified prospects offline back to the online. And as Rick mentioned, um, you know these these links in the the text we send out are are customizable, so we can send them to any landing page or page that you have, whether you're using uh, ConsulNet or any other page. Uh, we can yeah. send them back to to your USP page and and have that second chance to, to get that conversation. So Rick, why don't we? Can you flip on to the um, the demo line? What we're going to do right now for everyone that's got a smartphone handy. Let's kind of just go through this scenario. Now, you are a prospect, you are a buyer looking around, driving around your smartphone. We've got a number here, a demo line that you can you can call right now. Um, uh, before you do that, um, oh, Julie, are you on the line? Julie is our um, host for for today's call, which we we lost at the beginning. <laughs> Julie, why don't you why don't you call this number? Because a lot of people probably uh, there's a few of them that don't they're not on their computer, they're listening to a phone. Call this 800 number, uh, 888 number. Let's listen to the actual intro script of what the prospect is hearing, and then dial that four-digit property, uh, 1013, and let's listen to the script. All right, let me see if my tech problems are, are uh, going to go away now. Hold on. <laughs> Anyone on the call? Anyone on the call that's trying this right now? You'll experience the messages that. They can try your call again. Oh, Julie. Yeah, hold on. I'm getting it. You're all for two now. <laughs> I'm doing well. Three strikes. You get you strike out. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. We should be coming now. Hi, and thank you for calling Mike Kowalski's 24-hour Home Hunter hotline. If you would like to speak with Mike personally, you can be connected to his office at any time by entering zero. If you would like a free, computerized printout of what homes in your neighborhood have sold for within the past six months, please press 5. Home buyers can receive by mail a free, computerized printout of all new property listings that match your best criteria. To find out how to get priority access to hot new listings as they come on the market, please press 1. If you would like to receive by mail a free computerized printout of distressed sales and bank foreclosures within the Greater Toronto Area, please press 9. If you're calling about a property you've seen listed, you can enter the four-digit property ID number at any time. Remember, you can press the throat. We will gladly send you a copy of a fully loaded feature sheet of this property or arrange a private preview upon request. To get the current list price, press zero now. At the end of this message, I will explain how you can get priority access to all hot new listings that match your home buying criteria without cost, obligation, or hassles from realtors. City style comfort. Enjoy beautiful sunsets over glistening ponds. Custom with all the upgrades you would expect. Private master suite, formal dining, two fireplaces, upper level loft just right for your office, plus finished lower level walkout. Tree lines for privacy. To arrange a private... 
All right, so I killed that at the end because I don't think anybody needs to hear about our uh, imaginary listing, but that should have showed you guys sort of how the uh, how the line will work. Yeah, so hopefully everyone that participated in this demo, they should have got a text back that um, showed the link that we, we, we showed, and you should be able to click that link and actually see a mobile landing page, if you click the link, of, of Rick Brash uh, talking about his USP. But Rick, why don't you, what's important is your, your scripting on the property. Can you just share where the benefit is there, like what, that's compelling? Now, you never talked about the price at all. No, I, I never talk price. I never talk technical stuff. I don't like to talk about square footage or bedrooms or address, any of that kind of stuff. Um, I want the inquiry. I'm doing all I can to create the inquiry, to create the request from the prospect for more information. So. The other thing I will say that in 2014, as opposed to you know a few years ago, Mike, when we started this journey, our scripts need to be short, sweet, and to the point. We, we've got to be quick. People these days seem to be busier than ever, and we've got to get to the point of that script as quickly as, as possible. So, you know, initially, when I started with you and Craig Mike back in 2000, I mean, we would do this long-winded, benefit-rich script that seem to go on forever but you know as we've as we've learned and the markets changed and people have changed we found that the shortening up our scripts makes a lot of sense so the script that you play today is substantially shorter than scripts we would have used say six seven years ago so you know we've got some formats for you if anybody ever needs help with scripting let me know my pleasure to help out but the, the bottom line is the script needs to be compelling a script for a property simply needs to whet the appetite of the person calling to the point where they want more information. Then at the end of that script, when you heard that voice there, we simply tell people that if you'd like to receive the fully loaded full color, sheet, full color feature sheet by mail, simply leave us a mailing address, a phone number, and a name, and we'll get that out to you right away. Really, really important because that's where the lead is generated. That's what we call in the marketing business the call to action. And as long as you haven't given up the farm, given out all the eliminators on a property, you'll get a request for the feature sheet. And remember, everybody needs to be clear. This is not going to help you sell the house they've called on. How often does that happen? How often do you sell a house to a prospect who calls you on that particular house? Sometimes, yes but not enough to create a predictability model by it. No, nope. we want to generate the lead. If the prospect, in the case of a buyer, if the prospect is house hunting and they've kind of identified what it is they're looking for, that's a golden prospect that we want to use our universal callback script buy first offer on and create that face-to-face -face appointment. This is lead generation first house buyer second and everybody needs to get that um, a lot of times my car members think that if they do all these things and put all these tools in place that it will help get the house sold it might you might create a double-ended sale I've created lots of double-ended sales from my just listed sign but at the end of the day first and foremost all of this falls into the marketing category and as you're learning from Craig the purpose of marketing is to be good lead generators. So first and foremost, that's what I want everybody to do. That's great. Well, I hope everyone uh, got to experience the uh, the demo and and, and the, the screens that we're seeing. And just before we get into the Q and A, Rick, and the um, and the draw for the for the mini iPad, um, you know, there, there was a percentage of people uh, at the the Toronto event for some reason that did not sign up for our special conference offer. And we're going to extend that offer uh, for this call today. If they are interested, you can see on your screen now where you can either call in our 1-800 our number, 1-800-858-8889, or visit us online at quantumleaphotlines.com forward slash Toronto. That's quantumleaphotlines.com forward slash Toronto. And if you're online, you go to the website, you'll see a big red button that says continue. Uh, just click that, and I'll send you to the special offer we, we, um, that Rick and I offered at the, uh, 
proctor conference, um, and um, we'll extend it to the we'll extend it to the end of this call for anyone that didn't get a chance to sign up. And there's probably a lot of reasons. You probably were inundated or overwhelmed with the yeah all the content, or you had to wait in a lineup. We had a huge lineup um, to to sign up. And Rick, I don't know whether there'd be any other reason why not to sign up. Everything um, um, is in well, a 30 day there, trial. Probably there's probably a myriad of reasons, Mike, why some of our members just have decided not to get involved immediately. Now, I can say that since uh, the Toronto event, I've received quite a few emails from our members who just needed a little bit more explanation on how it all worked, Absolutely. on how the hotline worked. And that's good. If you have questions about this, um, send send me an email. It's my pleasure to explain it all all to you. No problem at all. Um, I Robert. The other thing too, Mike, we should make a note of here is I, I actually I don't work for you or anything. I I'm not an automated marketing solutions employee. I don't have a horse in this game, as Craig likes to say. I I'm I'm just here to help. This, this was a great tool for my real estate career. I, I made a, a lot of money because we took this tool really seriously and put it to work. So I just try and help out. That's all I'm I'm trying to do here. But if you have questions about how it works, the format, why it works the way it does, the different um, hotlines that are available, send me an email, rick at craigproctor.com. I am going to tell you that until you test it and try it, you won't have a thorough understanding of how it all comes together. But you know, amongst that, I will explain to you the formats that I think you should be working with every single day. And, and frankly, if you're going to run marketing, if you'd like to go back to Craigslist and do it the way you used to do it, you can with the hotline, because now we're driving those traffics to a landing page. You just need to get busy. Mike has a risk-free trial. You just have to take advantage of it. That's a criteria for work, excuse me, working with Craig is the risk-free trial. They'll explain that to you when you call. They'll get you up and running in no time at all. They'll ask you to pick a number, and I say, if you can, get the 800. Don't get 877 or 866, and whatever you do, don't ask Mike for a 900 number, because that's a whole different discussion. <laughs> but yeah, so just Rick, Rick, the thing to do is anyone that's interested in that offer that did not take advantage for whatever reason, just type in the chat box, Toronto Offer. We'll know who you are, and we'll get back to you uh, for any questions you may have. Just put type in Toronto Offer in the chat box, on the right-hand side, and one of our consultants will get back to you and help you with any questions you may have um, uh, on on that offer. So let's get into um, there is the uh, you can see there is the sign up for. Let's get into a couple of questions. Julie, are you there? I Julie. am here. Me? Okay, good. Do we have any questions? Uh, I do you? have. Some, um. My first question is from Annette, and she's asking Rick, when you get buyer leads asking for hot list properties or power of sale, what information would you email, and what information would you snail mail? I ask okay, so, uh, this because okay, Rick, so, Rick, there's a time and a place for both. Yeah, so good question. So when I fulfill the request that a lead has sent me, we do that through snail mail. I do everything in terms of, of, of lead fulfillment via Canada Post snail mail. The only time I use email is when that person is a client. So after I've talked to them, after I've sat down with them, after I've created their search criteria and signed them to my exclusive representation agreement, then I will start to use email. But as often as I can, I want to use snail mail to fulfill my request. And, you know, sometimes I don't get a mailing address. So in that case, if they insist on us sending email, I'll send, I'll have the girls in the office send email. But I just follow Craig's example. Craig filled up, Craig fulfilled as many requests as he could through the uh, through the mail. Live lit stamp, cover letter, um, hand bombed address, hand bombed return address, thrown in the, in the big red mailbox on the corner, and that's how we how we do it. Here's the thing, guys. If you rely on email, you'll be sadly disappointed. The yeah. open rate for email is less than 10%. And that's even if it gets there. Spam filters, junk filters, all kinds of issues. Plus, how many emails a day do you delete? Okay, if you're busy like me, I have an email problem. I get over a thousand emails a day. 
So I do my fair share of deleting, and I, I can't read everything that comes in my inbox. But when my, my mail comes, boy, I, I love to go through my mail. And if I get a hand-dressed, hand-bombed envelope, that's the first thing that I will do. So, Annette, I hope that answers your question. Perfect. All right. Thanks, Rick. Um, our next question uh, is kind of a combo of, of two different ones. Basically, a few people saying that, you know, your paper clicks, your radios, your newspaper ads, um, they're, all, they're all a little pricey to some people. What other options or, or ideas would you have for, for generating the leads? Well, I mean, today we're talking hotlines. So for many of you, you were disappointed when Craigslist changed their format. Now, I like Craigslist. It's free. You can simply put an ad on Craigslist for no financial cost whatsoever. And in the, in the days prior to six months ago, we would include a hot link in the ad, which would drive a prospect to a landing page. Well, they took the hot link privilege away um, at Craigslist. Now, I can run a Craigslist ad very inexpensively. And instead of using a hot link, I can put my hotline number in there. I can do the same thing on Kijiji. On Kijiji, I can still use a link. I can still use a hotline number. And I can use classified ads in the newspaper. Everybody on the call today should be considering which editorial ad to run and where it should be running. An editorial ad is a great way to get leads onto your hotline. So, you know, if you have if you have absolutely no money whatsoever to spend on ads, you've got to seek out some of those free resources. Kijiji, Craigslist, Backpage, those things will give you some leads. But moving forward, we're going to have to find a budget for you so we can get the lead generation going. You, know, you all know I'm a big proponent of Facebook. Facebook is a great inexpensive way to generate leads, and that's, that's pay-per-click. And right now, it's substantially cheaper than Google. Um, so everybody should take advantage of that medium as well, and we'll do more on that moving forward with, with Craig and the coaching program. But there's lots of ways to generate these guys, lots and lots of ways. Start with the newspaper. Get some ads out there. They're inexpensive, and let's get leads calling your hotline. Perfect. Um, I don't know how many, how do you guys want to do this time-wise? I've got a couple more questions here, and we've got to do the draw. Why don't we, uh, why don't we, why don't we, uh, do the draw. Why don't we go into that little box we had with all the business cards that we collected in Toronto. Julie, you have it in front of you. Why don't you put your hand in there and select a card and announce who the winner is. Should we have a drum roll? I, uh, I can do that. Go ahead and announce the winner. Our winner is Peter Kostecki from Kitchener, Ontario. All right, Peter, congratulations. I'm not sure if Peter's on the call or not, but uh, we yeah. will definitely, uh, if he is on the call, congratulations. We'll, we'll get his contact information and get his iPad mini out as well. And in fact, Julie, um, we probably should include even the, the, the Rick on a stick with all the content that we offered at the Anaheim <laughs> event. <laughs> That's we cool. We can do that. We can do that. All right, congratulations, Peter. Let's take a few more uh, few more questions. Um, Rick, if you could put that screen back to where where they can call and and the, and the website, that'd be cool. All right, let's let's take a few more questions, and we'll we'll end this call. I know we're a few minutes over with the problems sure. we had at the beginning. Go ahead. Yep, I uh, da, 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 da. I have a question here. We just ordered ten new sign riders with our cell phone numbers on them. Should we just print a new sticker? with our hotline number and stick them over top? Without question, yes. You will get more calls to your hotline than you will to a cell phone. We've, we've proven it for years and years and years. People would rather listen to a recorded message than talk to a realtor. So yes, I would say, I, I don't know, the next time you order sign riders, let's use the hotline instead of a direct line or a cell phone number. Yeah, I think, Rick, the message when you had in the ad where in brackets where it says recorded message is a key thing to have in your ad. Yeah, those three we've words proven are it, We've three we've proven that you get three times the amount of calls. Again, we, we talked about the, you know, your prospects do not want to be sold or the fear of being sold or the fear of having to deal with salespeople until you educate them on their problem. We, we try to shine that light on it. 
But we've proven this, and like I said, in that in Rick's ad, he's got that those those words in brackets uh, in the sign writer about recorded message, and you'll get a lot more calls to the 800 number, which will sift sort pre-qualify those prospects and deliver those grade A leads to you. Good. Yep, I agree. Perfect. Okay, I've got one more question here, and it's one that I'll take. Um, and it, basically, they're asking about a manual, an instruction manual for setup. Um, of course, we definitely have one. Uh, we tell people once you receive your emails from us and with the instructions to go onto our website, uh, you're going to see two links to download Fast Start Guides. There's an information hotline, Fast Start Guide, and a USP property tree. Um, say download those two right away. They're your quickest, easiest, dirtiest uh, pieces of information that you can keep handy. And anything else, you can also give us a call and we can set up some training as well. Yeah, good point, Julie. Really important that you, you we, we did, we did uh, send a sheet that has all this online training that, where it really shows you how to set this up. And really, there's not a whole lot to set up. It's all pretty well done for you. Um, sounds like a hurricane coming through. But uh, yeah, I mean, but if you do request some one-on-one -on -one training, we'll be more than happy to do so. Just call our, our 800 number and we can uh, schedule a, a consultation call with you. Not just to, to use the tool, but help you make sure that you have you know, the right ad and the right script uh, on, on the hotline as well. So Rick, um, I'm getting ready to, to head to Anaheim. We have another Craig Proctor super conference um, just around the corner. You want to yeah. get some details on that? Yeah, I hope everybody's coming. Um, if you have, if if you have any questions about coming to the super conference, let me tell you today. Bring them to the super conference. Now that that sounds really salesy, but you shouldn't miss events. Um, for those of you now in the coaching program, you will not be in the same session that you were in in Toronto. Um, you'll be in the breakout sessions with with Craig's coaching team. Craig comes in there too, but you'll be in there with the coaching team doing a completely different super conference agenda than what you did in Toronto. And this is much more nitty gritty. We're getting you right down to the details of what you need to do to get your business off the ground. So that's why everybody should be in Anaheim. And Anaheim too, Mike, is, as we all know, will be a substantially larger event than what we did in in Toronto. Craig does that one in Toronto every August because frankly he's he's from the area. But um, when we get out into one of our bigger events in say um, you know, Florida or Texas or California, we invite the entire membership to come. So you get to rub shoulders with all the coaching members, all the top hitters, all those shooters that are making millions of dollars every single year. And you get to be in a special breakout session just with those members. So by all means, get yourself registered for the event. Have a chat with your coach if you're not sure. If you have questions about the Super Conference in Anaheim, send me an email. Of course, I'm going to recommend that you come there, but don't miss Super Conferences. In all the years I've been with Craig, I've never missed a single event, and I don't want you guys to miss any either. I think, Rick, you know, uh, for the first the people that have come to the conference for the first time and sign up for coaching and overwhelmed with all these different strategies and ideas, I, I know I've seen them. Uh, this is a time for you to come back and you're, you're more energy, you, you, you know, you've maybe tested a few campaigns and you know, you're talking to like-minded people in the group and uh, you, you know, you're going to learn something from every conference you come out with. And, and if I'm not mistaken, there is no cost to be doing a coaching program to, to nope, that's right. To, to, to well, this is really? this is part of this is part of your curriculum. Um, attending the super conferences while you're in coaching is part of your curriculum, and um, we want you to come. We we want you to experience the entire event with the top producing agents in North America. And uh, so, yeah, find a way to get there. It's so it's so worth it. Some of you are thinking, well, I just did one in Toronto. Now you want me to fly all the way to California? Well, yeah, for sure. When you get to California, as I just mentioned, you're going to be in a completely different, in a completely different um, agenda. With a completely different agenda, you'll be with the coaching members, guys like me and Lester Cox and Todd Walters. We're the ones that take the lead in that room, and you'll really enjoy what we do uh, for the coaching members. So yeah, you need to get there. 
Well, Rick, I'm just going to enjoy the last week of the summer holidays with my kids, and they're back to school uh, next week. And uh, I really appreciate you coming out and sharing your your thoughts and ideas uh, and helping out with the content of this webinar. And um, hope everyone enjoyed the, this call. Uh, we will be um, hosting other uh, calls as well before uh, uh, we head head to Anaheim. So again, Rick, thank you very much for your time. And uh, if you want to just leave your what your email address is again, if you have any questions. Yeah, Rick. My name, Rick, R-I-C-K, Rick, at craigproctor.com. Yeah, and again, anyone that, who hasn't signed up and wants to still take advantage of our offer, there is the number on our screen, 1-800-858-8889, or you can go and visit us at quantumleaphotlines, at plural.com, forward slash Toronto, and uh, we'll be more than happy to, to help you out then. All right, everyone, thank you for um, coming on the call, and, and happy marketing. Take care. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, guys.